Hello, and thank you for coming to my channel. Uh, I love collecting and finding treasures. And this is uh, something that I had bought recently at the local flea market. Uh, this is my first video on this channel, so I figured it'd be a pretty cool, uh, something pretty cool I found recently. Not something in my collection, of course, I could just cherry pick out. Um, I got this at the flea market. Now, I'm always honest with what I paid for something. I'm not, oh, this is really cheap. No. I paid $45 for this guy. Um, which at first I was a little hesitant because of the flea market 45. Anybody that's a flea marketeer knows $45 for an item is kind of, I don't know, on the silly side sometimes when it gets to a flea market. So, um, again, matters where you live. But anyways, I saw this. And being that kid who absolutely loved uh, stuff that had to do with engineering and uh, that kind of stuff, I saw it and I was like, holy crap, um, I gotta have it. So, um, there was no, like, you know, I guess I, maybe I could have haggled, but, uh, uh, you know, anyways. So anyway, this is a big toy box from Sears. Uh, this That run was basically from 1951 to around 1969, I believe. Um, there might have been a few like spurts of it um, in the 70s, um, but I couldn't really find any instances of that. Um, the one thing I do miss about the fact of the big toy box is that uh, you these came with it. You, you ordered these from the catalog. And um, they just don't do catalogs anymore. I mean, that was something, man, when I was a kid, oh my goodness, I look so forward to the catalog. Um, find, picking the toys. and So this comes with a lever, shows you on the side, comes with a lever. And on the bottom, you could you attach it um, with uh, for that, um, for the wing. Uh, then you have that on the bottom, and it's just your standard box. This is made in Japan. Um, there's the side box, that's the model number, I believe, the, or the run number. Um, from my understanding, or the way when I talked to the people about it, they told me that this is the rare, the rarest of the series, so, I don't know. I saw a couple, and they were a little bit, they were pretty high, they sold for a hundred dollars, a hundred or more dollars. Um, so, this is the... Outside of the box there, it shows the side, shows how to steer this and stuff. Um, and there's it. So, let's open up the box. Okay, so I open up the box. <clears throat> Comes in two parts. This is the top part, so you can see the little focus here. Uh, There we go. Uh, little pilots in there. It's the cockpit. They got the first class. There. There's where all the plebs are. That's <laughs> where I'd be sitting. If I could afford a plane ticket. These are the stewardesses and the stewards. Uh, so there you go. There's that. <laughs> oh, there is the uh, Pan Am. Now, here I want to talk real quick a little bit about Pan Am. Uh, this is pretty cool. This company was the Pan Am company was started in 1927, and um, they call that the the uh, um, the Blue Meatball, <laughs> or there's sometimes they call them the Flying Clippers. Um, but uh, the only one I really remember from the, the Boeing that I liked really the most was the Boeing 377. I think they called it the Strato Cruiser. It looks so classy. But okay, so here we go there. We have that. And so then we have the bottom, which is, I mean, it's, it's amazing the condition this thing is. I, I, I think it's the late, this, this was made in the late 60s. Uh, probably 68, 69, somewhere around there, I would assume. It's what, from what I gathered, that's what I, I saw, I, I got from my stuff I found. And there's the bottom. Very good condition. Very nice condition. Um, there's not, even the top, the plastic, there's no scratches or nothing like that. 
Um, so give me a second, I'll put it together and we'll try it out. Okay, so here's what it looks like put together. Um, the mechanisms I have to, my buddy's going to check it out. Um, he he pretty good at this stuff. Uh, he does do some kind of repair work every once in a while. So um, we know some people that works this, does this kind of re, refixes this kind of stuff. Um, so we're going to look at the mechanisms. But what it's supposed to do is you turn it this one. Okay, hold on. There's a button underneath. That's that's the jet engine noise. Jet engine noise. And the people are supposed to move around, but they don't. And uh, so, but anyways, it's really cool find. I was pretty happy with it. I have it fixed. Um, 45 bucks. So awesome. And thank you for watching my first uh, my first episode <laughs> on this channel. Have a good one. Keep hunting, looking for that treasure.